My name is Kathy Bozar. I work for Arkema Inc. Um, in, outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in King of Prussia. Um, we are a French chemical company. Our parent company is based outside of Paris. And I'm director of business process opt optimization for the finance organization. It was rather scattered. Um, when we did our evaluation of our current state process, we found that we had three different business models. Um, we had a centralized model, we had a regional model where some of our plants were processing invoices for themselves as well for other local plants and other plants that were processing locally. And within each of those models, there were significant amount of variations. Um, how discrepancies were being resolved, how invoices were being passed on from one person to another for approval or review, um, everything from walking down to offices with um, having post-it notes on them to people riding through the plants on bicycles and having them in their baskets. So there was a large variety and we recognized that we needed to standardize and have visibility into the life cycle of the invoice um, for both ourselves and our vendors and automation seemed to be the best solution. As Director of Business Process Optimization, I felt quite confident that the technology that we chose by choosing um, ReadSoft and um, implementing that tool and working with our IT department, that the technology piece was going to be easy. It was the change management and managing the resistance and changing the business process um, that was going to be difficult. Um, folks are used to having a piece of paper in front of them, they're used to walking down the hall and um, to start using the computer to resolve issues or to receive questions um, was going to be a challenge so that we expected a lot of resistance, particularly in our plants where it's more um, you know, of a family group you know, within the plant. So to have things become centralized in King of Prussia um, for receiving the invoices, you know, it was really around change management. We worked to create groups of people to help facilitate this. So we had a key stakeholder advisory committee that included representation from our manufacturing community, from our accounting community, and that gave the plants the understanding and the knowledge that they had people representing them on the project. We also had um, some of our folks who were doing their own accounts payable. They were on the actual EMAP team, so they contributed. Um, and they continue to train and lead. We have lead users, and I think most importantly, when you're starting a project like this, it's important for the team and representatives of the team to go out to the plants and physically see what they're doing. You can't make decisions in a vacuum in a conference room. We looked at several vendors, um, of course, and we looked at ReadSoft because we, three reasons really, one is our parent company um, had implemented ReadSoft in France and was rolling it out to Europe and with thoughts of migrating toward um, perhaps all being on a consolidated SAP platform sometime in the future, we thought that it would position us well to, um, to migrate down the road in the future for us. A second reason was just value. What we were getting with ReadSoft versus our other vendors that we looked at was definitely the best value. And the folks that we worked with in the initial processes were so knowledgeable and willing to work with us that we thought that we could really foster a great partnership. It's the people piece. It was the change management and another piece that's very important is to ensure that you have the right organizational structure to support the tool because you're migrating your organization from being a more data entry centric um, organization to be a very analytical organization. So you need to make sure that you have an organizational structure to support it as well as the skill sets and if your folks don't have the skill sets ensure that you get them trained so that they can move into those roles as you implement the tool. Things that I've learned through the implementation is to when it comes to training and communicating with people to really keep things simple because it is simple. Um, we didn't make a big deal out of training. We didn't have elaborate training, say for work cycle. We kept it very simple, kept the procedures very simple because it was really just a change of communication method. 
So rather than you know communicating manually or through email, we tried to focus on the fact that everything else that you do stays the same. How you resolve a pricing variance stays the same. How you prepare a goods receipt stays the same. It's just getting the information to say, we have an invoice and we don't have a goods receipt or we have a pricing variance, that's what changed. So just keep it simple and then it helps the folks that you're impacting to embrace it a little bit better. Um, so far I'd say it was the visibility. Um, visibility and metrics. It was very difficult for us to get good metrics for our accounts payable manager to really be able to respond to vendors, to our internal customers like the plant managers if they had questions. Um, now if he gets a question and someone says we're getting a call from a vendor and they're saying that this payment is late, he now has visibility in process director to go in, sort by vendor, looks at it and say here it is, this is when it was paid, it's in this ACH run, it's coming, to, you know, they should receive it within X number of days, and none of the other invoices that we've received from this vendor are due, I have invoices that are due on these dates. And in the past, to get that kind of information could have taken hours, weeks, depending on where things were, the invoices might have been sitting at a plant, some may have been in corporate, so um, to have that at his fingertips is is a really huge value to the whole company.